Hello students, welcome to our live APS classes and as all of you know that this is our foundation course especially for the students from 9 to 12 and in our today's live lecture we will discuss uh, the new chapter for class 12th and the name of the chapter is strategies for enhancement in food production and this is our part number one and in our part number one uh, we will discuss important 30 questions regarding this chapter. So first of all, welcome to all the students who join with us our live APS classes and this is the syllabus for the term 1 examination that is to be held in November 2021. So let us start with our part number 1 for the strategies for enhancement in food production and our first question Our first question that is homozygous pure lines in kettles can be obtained. Homozygous pure lines in kettles can be obtained by and your options are option A is mating of related individuals of the same breed. B mating of unrelated individuals of the same breed. C mating of individuals of the different breed. And the last option is mating of individuals of the different species. That means there are four options for the question number one. That is homozygous pure lines in kettles can be obtained by. So out of the four options you have to choose the correct option regarding this chapter. So here beta homozygous pure lines in kettles can be obtained by mating of unrelated individuals of the same breed. So here option A is the right answer for the question number 1. Rest are the wrong options for the question number 1. Now shift to the question number 2. And the question number 2 is interspecific hybridization is the mating of. Interspecific hybridization is the mating of. Your options are animals within the same breed without having by common ancestors. B. Two different related species. C. Superior males and females of the different breeds. Superior males and females of the different breeds. And the last option is more closely related individuals within the same breed for four to six generations. So, hurry, beta, jaldi se aap iska answer. Uh, the interspecific hybridization is the mating of options are animals within the same breed without having their common ancestors b two different related species c superior males and females of the different breeds and the last is more closely related individuals within the same breed for four to six generations that means there are four options regarding this question so here which are interspecific a specific hybridization is the mating of that is a two different related species two different related species two different related species that is the interspecific hybridization is the mating of two different related species jo interspecific hybridization hoti hai that is the mating or wo interspecific hybridization is the mating of two different related species Two different related species ke beech mein interspecific hybridization jo ke unke beech mein mating hoti hai. So here option B is the right answer for the question number 2. Next is your question number 3 and your question number 3 is among the following edible fishes which one is a marine fish having a rich source of omega 3 fatty acids. I repeat my question again. Among the following edible fishes, which one is marine fish having the source of omega-3 fatty acids? Options are number one is mangoor, B, mackerel, C, mistress and D is mrigla. So out of the three, four options, which is the the right answer for the question number 3 that out of the following edible fishes which one is a marine fish having a rich source of omega 3 fatty acids. 
so there are four fishes so you have to choose the correct option for the question number 3 out of the following edible fishes which one is the marine fish that having the rich source of the omega 3 fatty acids so bete jaldi se aap is answer de question number 3 ka so bete jo uh, out of the following edible fishes and the fish uh, that is marine fish having a rich source of omega 3 fatty acid is the mistis Mistis. So here option C is the right answer for the question number 3. Rest are the wrong options. So Mistis is the marine fish having a rich source of the omega 3 fatty acid. Uh, not Yes, it is. Question number three ka jo bola hai, uh, wrong option de thi. Among the following edible fishes, the marine fish having the rich source of the omega-3 fatty acid is the mackerel. Mackerel. So here option B is the right answer for the question number three. That is out of the following animal fishes, the berry fish which is the main source of the omega 3 fatty acid is the mackerel. So here option B is the right answer for the question number 3. Now shift to the question number 4 and your question number 4 is outbreeding is an important strategy of animal husbandry because outbreeding is an important strategy of animal husbandry because options are Helps in accumulation of superior genes. Helps in accumulation of superior genes. B. Is useful in producing pure lines of the animals. C. Is, is useful in overcoming inbreeding depressions. And the last one is exposes harmful recessive genes that are eliminated by the selection. So here four options are there. For the question number 4, that is outbreeding is an important strategy of animal husbandry because helps in accumulation of the superior genes. Second one is, is useful producing pure lines of the animals. Third one is, is useful in overcoming and breeding depressions. And the last one is, exposes harmful recessive genes that are eliminated by selection. So out of these four options, which is the right option for the question number 4? So here better question number 4 to have outbreeding is an important strategy. Because jo ek outbreeding hai, it is an important strategy especially for the animal husbandry. Why? Because why we say this thing that outbreeding hai, it is an important strategy of the animal husbandry. And it is your question number 4. Because is useful in overcoming Inbreeding depressions is useful in overcoming inbreeding depressions and it is your question number 4. So, which outbreeding to have that is an important strategy of animal husbandry because it is useful in overcoming inbreeding depressions. Inbreeding depressions. So, here outbreeding is an important strategy for the animal husbandry because is useful in overcoming inbreeding depression. So here option C is the right answer for the question number 4. Next is your question number 5. And your question number 5 is artificial insemination means. Artificial insemination means options are transfer of sperms of healthy donor to test tube containing ova. B. Transfer of sperms of husband to a test tube containing ova. C. Artificial introduction of sperms of a healthy donor into the vagina. And D is introduction of sperms of the healthy donor directly into the ovary. So here artificial insemination means. Artificial insemination ka kya matlab hai? Kya means hai? Char options di gai hai. You have to choose the right option for the question number 5. That is artificial insemination 
means artificial insemination ka kya matlab hai that is your question number 5 to beche artificial insemination means that is transfer of sperms of a healthy donor to a test tube containing ova wrong option hai artificial insemination nahi hai jisme ki hum transfer karte hain sperms ka of healthy donor to a test tube uh, containing ova second transfer of sperms of husband to a test tube containing ova it is again the wrong option artificial introduction of sperms of a healthy donor into the vagina artificial insemination ka jo matlab hai artificial insemination that is artificial introduction of sperms to a healthy donor into the vagina this is the means of the artificial insemination jisme ki hum kya karte hain artificial introduction uh, jo hai sperms ki that is uh, to a healthy donor to be uh, transported into the vagina so here option c is the right answer for the question number 5 that is the artificial introduction of sperms to a healthy donor into the vagina and introduction of sperms of healthy donor directly into the ovary it is again the wrong option for the question number 5 that is artificial insemination so yahan se hame clear ho gaya ki artificial insemination ka jo means hai that is artificial introduction of sperms of a healthy donor into the vagina so here option c is the right answer now shift to the question number 6 and the question number 6 is to obtain virus free healthy plants from diseased one by tissue culture technique which part of the diseased plant will be taken options are option a is apical meristem only apical meristem only second one is palisade parenchyma c both apical and axillary meristem and the last one is epidermis only so there are four options for the question number 6 that is to obtain a virus free healthy plant containing frona diseased one by tissue culture techniques so which parts of the diseased plants will be taken options are apical meristem only palisade parenchyma both apical and axillary meristems and the last one is epidermis only and it is your question number 6 तो बेटे क्वेश्चन नंबर 6 जो है जिसमें कि हम ऑब्टेन करेंगे वायरस फ्री हेल्दी प्लांट्स फ्रॉम अ डिजीज्ड वन बाय टिश्यू कल्चर टेक्निक सो द पार्ट्स ऑफ द डिजीज्ड प्लांट्स विल बी टेकन दैट इज नॉट द एपिकल मेरिस्टम नॉट द पैलिसेड पैरेंटाइमा नॉट द एपिडर्मस ओनली बट बोथ बोथ एपिकल एंड axillary axillary meristems meristems so here option c is the right answer that is both apical and axillary meristems so here option c is the right answer for the question number 6 now shift to the question number 7 and your question number 7 is in plant breeding programs the entire collection of the plant seeds having all the diverse alleles for the genes in a given crop is called options are selection of superior recombinants b cross hybridization among the selected parents C. Evaluation and selection of the parents and D is germplasm collection. That means the plant inbreeding programs, the entire collection of the plant seeds having all the diverse alleles for all the genes in a given crop is called either the selection of the superior recombinants, cross hybridization among the selected parents, Evaluated and selection of the parents and the last one is germplasm collection and it is your question number 7. So, is meant you have covered it. Selection of the superior recombinants that is not used in plant breeding programs. Cross hybridization among the selected parents it is again not in the plant breeding programs. Evaluation and selection of the parents. This is again not used. 
by the germ plasm collection germ plasm collection germ plasm collection so here option d is the the right answer now shift to the question number 8 and the question number 8 is which one of the following shows maximum genetic diversity in india options are groundnut b maize c rice and d is mango which one of the following shows maximum genetic diversity in india options are groundnut b maize c rice and d is mango that means there are four options for the question number 8 and you have to choose the right answer for the question number 8 so out of these which shows the maximum genetic diversity in india that is your question number 8 and jo maximum genetic diversity in india may show karta hai that is not groundnut not maize and even not mango but rice shows maximum genetic diversity in india so out of the following that is groundnut maize rice and mango so out of these only rice shows the maximum genetic diversity in india so here option c is the right answer for the question number 8 Now shift to the question number nine, and the question number nine is breeding of crops within high levels of minerals, vitamins, and proteins is called breeding of crops with high levels of minerals, vitamins, and proteins is called as options are micro propagation, B somatic hybridization, C bio fortification. bio fortification and d is bio magnification breeding of crops within high levels of minerals vitamins and proteins is called as option a is micro uh, propagation b somatic hybridization c bio fortification and d is bio magnification so it is a question number 9 क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन का जो बेटे आपका सही आंसर होगा ब्लीडिंग ऑफ क्रॉप्स विद इन द हाई लेवल्स ऑफ मिनरल्स वाइटामिन एंड प्रोटीन इज नॉट कॉल्ड एज माइक्रो प्रोपेगेशन नॉट सोमेटिक हाइब्रिडाइजेशन एंड इवन नॉट बायो मैग्निफिकेशन बट द ब्लीडिंग ऑफ क्रॉप्स विद इन हाई लेवल्स ऑफ मिनरल्स वाइटामिन एंड प्रोटीन इज कॉल्ड एज बायो फोर्टिफिकेशन बायो bio fortification so here option c is the the right answer for the question number 9 now shift to the question number 10 and your question number 10 is soma clones soma clones are obtained by soma clones are obtained by options are genetic engineering b tissue culture c plant breeding and the last one is irradiation irradiation soma clones are obtained by options are genetic engineering b is tissue culture c is plant in breeding or last is irradiation and it is your question number 10 so here it is soma clones are obtained by not genetic engineering not plant breeding not irradiation but soma clones they are obtained by tissue culture tissue culture so here option b is the right answer for question number 10 next is a question number 11 and your question number 11 is Hemigeny developed by hybridization and selection for disease resistance against rust pathogens is a variety of 
ऑप्शन इज चिली बी शुगर केन सी मेज एंड डी इज वीट एंड इट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन दैट इज हिमगिरी ड्रेल्व बाय हाइब्रिडाइजेशन एंड selection for disease resistance against rust pathogens as a variety of options are chili sugarcane mage and wheat and it is your question number 11 so here beta hindri joined by the hybridization and selection for disease resistance against rust pathogen as a variety of not chili not sugarcane and even not mage but it is a variety of the wheat it is the variety of wheat so here option d is the right answer for the question number 11 now shift to the question number 12 and your question number 12 is jaya and ratna dwelled for the green revolution in india are the varieties of jaya and ratna dwelled for green revolution in india are the varieties of option a is mage b wheat c rice and d is bajra ratna and jaya are the dwelled varieties for the green revolution in india for mage wheat rice and bajra so it is a question number 12 jaya and ratna dwelled for the green revolution in india are the varieties of either mage wheat rice and bajra and it is a question number 12 so with the jaya and ratna dwell specially for the green revolution in india these are the varieties of the rice these are the varieties of rice not mage not wheat and even not bajra but these are the varieties of the the rice jaya and ratna are the dwelled especially dwelled for the green revolution in india and these are the varieties of especially rice not wheat not mage and even not bajra so here option c is the right answer for the question number 12 now shift to the question number 13 and your question number 13 is most nutritious among the following most nutritious among the following is option is wheat b mage c barley and d is rice most nutritious among the following is wheat mage barley and rice it is a question number 13 so beta most nutritious among the following is purely purely not what not mage not rice but purely is the most nutritious among the following so here option c is the right answer for the question number 13 now shift to the question number 14 and your question number 14 is hybrid vigor introduced by hybrid vigor introduced by option a is by clonal selection b by crossing of plants c by crossing of two plants and d is by species differentiation so hybrid vigor is induced by options are by clonal selection b by crossing of the plant c by crossing of the two plants and the last is by superior different uh sorry by species differentiation so there are four options for the question number 13 not 13 but question number 14 it is a question number 14 so beta hybrid vigor it is introduced by not clonal selection not crossing of the plant and even not by species differentiation but hybrid vigor is introduced by by crossing by crossing of two plants crossing of two plants so here option c is the right answer for the question number 14 now shift to the question number 15 and it is our last question 
regarding the part number one for the chapter that is strategies for enhancement in food production and rest important MCQ questions or objective questions we will discuss in our next part that is in our part number two. So this is our last question for our today's lecture and your question book 15 is Norman Borla known as father of green revolution has developed the new cultivating variety of Norman Borlaf known as father of the green revolution यहाँ पर भी आपसे क्वेश्चन पूछे जा सकता है कि who is known as the father of the green revolution so Norman Norman Borlaf Borlaf Question number 15 is Who is known as the father of the Green Revolution? That is Norman Borla is known as the father of Green Revolution, known as father of Green Revolution. Has Dwell new cultivating varieties of A. Paddy, B. Rice, C. Wheat, and D is sugar cane. D is sugar cane. So, out of these four options, which is the correct option for the question book 15? So, Norman Barloff, known as father of green revolution, has dwelt new cultivating variety of not paddy, not rice, and even not sugar cane, but dwelt the new variety of wheat new variety of wheat. So your option C is the right answer for the question number 15. And our today's last question for our lecture that is the question number 16 and your question number 16 is zoological name of Indian buffalo is zoological name of Indian buffalo is options are Bubalus, Bubalus, B. Boss, Indicus, C. Boss, Terrace and the last one is Gallio Segulus. So there are four options. That is the zoological name of the Indian buffalo is options are Bubalus, Bubalus, Boss, Indicus, Boss, Terrace and the Gallius, Gallus. Okay? So out of these four options, what is the zoological name of the Indian buffalo? And it is a question number 16. So here the zoological name of the Indian buffalo is Bubalus 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 Bubalis So this is the zoological name of the Indian buffalo Not boss indicus, not boss terrace, not gallus, gallus But Bubalis, Bubalis is the zoological name of the Indian buffalo So here better we complete important 16 questions for our chapter uh, for class 12 and this chapter is from the biology part and the name of the chapter is strategies for enhancement in food production the rest important questions we will discuss in our next live video lecture that is in our part number two so once again good night to all